Wagwan. How's everyone doing? In this video, I'm going to explain the 4141 attack formation. Basically, everything you need to know about it and how it works because it's a pretty strong formation. Because I used it for like the majority of last season and I won a couple of events and I was a second in terms of points in the association overall. It's a worthwhile formation, trust me. Now it's composed of a back four played really really high up the pitch like almost into the midfield and then a really high DMC as if you're pushing him into the MC position but still in DMC and then for that two AMC they are a bit low you know you have to cover the space between the AMCs and the DMC somehow that's why you have to keep pushing them like I'm going to leave a screenshot here to show you exactly what I mean which is something like that. Now you do this to cover the space in between these midfield players. And for the AML and the MR, they should be on line with the AMC as well. So that it's a flat four in the attacking mid. And then for the striker, place him outside the box, just outside the box, so that he can roam around that area instead of waiting for the ball all the time. Now for the tactics, this formation is best used with attacking mentality through the middle, short passing. Now you only use short passing if your opponent is not very compact in the midfield. However, if he does have a compact midfield, use mixed passing. Then counters are always off, offside trap, that depends on your preference, for me I prefer it off. No more tackling for league and champions league matches and uh, hard tackling for the deciding games and friendlies then zonal marking and finally low pressing so now one thing you need to know is that the core of this team is the dmc like the better the dmc is the better the whole team will perform because he's the one balancing the offense and the defense in top 11 the mcs have very little play at least in my top 11 philosophy mcs are really shit they're not that important and this formation doesn't use AMCs. So the person who's going to manage the opponent's MCs is your DMC. And the better he is, the better your team is going to perform. It's just as simple as that. Now, another thing to also keep in mind is that most goals will be scored by the striker, the AML and the AMR, not the AMCs. Like the AMCs in this particular situation are similar to the MCs in a 451V. Yes, they may score and assist more, but they will never be consistent compared to the other three attackers. With this in mind, you can see that the ST, the AML and the AMR require more focus. They can either be trained with more rest packs or they have to be of a higher quality compared to the AMCs. Because they are the ones that are going to finish most of the attacking moves of your team. Now for the play styles, um, the goalkeeper the best play style you can probably get is sweeper keeper because your team is going to be playing a very high line or ball playing geeky i've not yet used that one before but i'm theorizing that it could work it's an attacking formation so he could work now for the dc's personally i'd go for no nonsense because the defense on this formation is a bit sketchy as we shall see later on but you can also go for ball playing DC, that's if you want to add to your offensive capabilities. For the DR and the DL, I suggest you go for fullback. Now for the AMCs, you can use any play style, the ML and the MR, you can also go for either winger or inside forward. And for the striker, target man is the best, because this is what enables you to have that extreme possession. And now that we're talking about possession, let's talk about like the benefits of using this formation over others. There are two outstanding benefits to this formation. Yeah, simple as that. One, there are lots of scoring outlets. All the attackers are a goal threat. Yes, the AMCs are not consistent, but they are always there. Like it's anyone can score, and that's a very good thing when multiple people on a team can score a goal. Then the second is that this formation is very oppressive with its possession play. 
like use this formation and then go for possession bonus your opponent is not going to get any chances you're going to keep the ball unless they are stronger than you but if they're around your level or weaker than you you're going to possess 99% of all the games you're going to play possession wise now on the downside there are a few things you should look out for when you're using this formation now one is that most of the opponent's goals are going to come from counter-attacks like that happened to me a lot as I was using it I could possess a lot and then one chance opponent gets they score from a counter majority of the time that's how the opponents are going to score against you if you're using this formation then another thing is that you're going to be having a very high line which means the DL and the DR will always be busy against the opponents AML and AMR which is never a good thing and this goes hand in hand with the next problem is that none of the players on this team can actually be a negative player like you cannot have this one percent players in this team and perform to the full capability all the players have to be at least somewhere including the dl and dr because i mean they have to mark those aml and amrs by themselves with that we move on to the formations that this team can eat for breakfast <laughs> yeah that's what i wrote here in the script now popular formations that this formation can easily beat 4231 451v 442 flat now you can beat almost all other formations but you know those ones I'm, I'm sure you can beat those ones straight up like if you're both the same quality you will have the advantage using this system now there are a couple of formations that will disturb you and these go under two categories they are the two DMC formations and then you have the three MC formations those ones are quite annoying to play against if you're using this formation for example WM 313 narrow 3 then 32131 those are the three formations that I played up against and uh, I had a hard time against them but uh, most of the other formations if, if they don't have two DMC's or three MC's you have a chance of beating them at least you have an overwhelming chance of possessing the ball against them so what you need to worry about is making sure that you utilize your chances and you do not concede that brings us to the end of the video this is a really decent formation if used well um, one thing maybe I can suggest is to have at least a backup DC he may not be as strong as your best DC but has to be at least somewhat decent because the DC is like the core of this team and once your core gets injured you need someone at least something that can replace him you know anyway that's it for me today I'm setting a goal of at least 100 likes on this video can we achieve it man I don't know it's up to you guys to do it see you in the next video peace